So another lovely spring day in Minnesota. Uh, we're out on the dog porch and I just want to show you guys. We're getting a snowstorm. Uh, a couple days ago it was almost 70 degrees. Uh, two days ago I was outside here doing seed planting, uh, seed starting stuff. And uh, not going to be doing that outside today. So I got about halfway through. Uh, hopefully I'll get through the other half uh, later this evening. I don't know yet, but it's not planting time yet. Uh, last year planting time was really late. I think it was it didn't get planted until June. So I want to try and get the plants to get a little early start so that they are sprouted by the time that they can go in. It saves a lot of money. If I'm sprouting from seed, but we'll see how it goes. These are the ones I started yesterday, or not yesterday, Saturday. Um, they're all hot peppers, and there's 60 of them in there. Uh, if I get even close to what I got last year for success rate, that's going to be way more than I can probably put in the garden, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'd rather have too many sprout than not enough. There's also a couple of extra uh, uh, Maruga scorpions down here. We'll see how those go. And the ferments have picked right back up. They are uh, generating CO2. That one's not doing much. That one back there is okay. That one's not doing well. Those haven't woken up yet. The one I'm kind of more interested in is the... Uh, the vacuum bag sealed one and as you can see that is producing co2 so this is kicking up on the ferment now too i'm liking this so it's seed planting time and i figured i would try and show you guys a little bit of how i do this is from park seed it is a seed starter kit uh, there's actually a whole um, plastic doohickey that covers it that goes with it uh, this is a 60 tray the thing holds two trays thing holds two trays and uh, so I'll have 120 sprouts if all of these go well and they won't but last year I got a yield of about 90 percent on the ones that I planted so it's a pretty good indication that this is a good way to go I like to double seed these uh, because if one seed takes the other one, if one seed doesn't take the other one, usually will, uh, just increases the chances of, of the seed starting. So this is my first set planted in here. I've got uh, two rows of six each. I'm kind of doing these in, in rays of 12 uh, so that I've got 10 different varieties and I've got uh, a possibility of getting a good run from each one. Uh, these little flags on here, I actually got these on uh, from Amazon. I just looked under toothpick flags and there's a whole bunch of these. I think I bought packs of 200 of them for like five, six dollars. So, I mean, I have plenty that'll last me for a couple of years now. But uh, I'm going to keep going and fill up this tray and then we'll drop it in the uh, drop it in the growing container and let it go for a while. And just to show you, these are seeds that I harvested from last year. Uh, I didn't know if it would work, so I tried it the year before and it worked just fine. I mean, even from hot peppers that I bought in the store, some you know jalapenos and serranos and habaneros, and they all grew just fine. So I harvested the seeds uh, and now I'm trying to break them off of the little bits that were, you know, the center parts of the peppers, uh, which I probably shouldn't be doing with bare hands, but, you know, it is what it is. So there it is, another 60 planted. Uh, we're gonna go put this in the in the wet bin and make sure that it's covered and warm and got good sunlight and got good sunlight. Jeez. Um, <clears throat> anyway, all the things that plants like to grow, and you know, 
a couple weeks we'll check in on them and see if they sprouted. So, uh, till later. Ah, uh, well, we had some, uh, had some damage. Uh, I think I let it go a little bit too dry and didn't give it quite enough air because there's some mold that got in. Uh, not really happy about that, but not a lot I can do about it new now. <laughs> not a lot I can do about it new. Um, I don't know. Looks like there's quite a bit of loss. But there's some that are still in here that might have a chance. So I'm going to set these outside for the day, let them air out, uh, get a bit more <clears throat> sunlight so that some of the ultraviolet might get in there and do some killing of the... Uh, uh, killing of the mold. And I've got some in here. Looks like I've got some orange blobs that are surviving. Uh, maybe some reapers. A couple of habaneros. Uh, Scotch bonnies. I don't know, it looks like a lot of them really took a bad hit. That's unfortunate. But I think what I'll do is I'll let these go. Uh, see what comes up and supplement with bought plants again. You know, I guess, you know, working on it. Stuff doesn't always work. And I'm still learning. So, oh, one death spiral. A couple death spirals, too. Okay. It's not a total loss, but uh, pretty heavy, heavy casualties. <laughs> 